semen retention, and body gangs. Mike Mincer. Now, I know y'all heard about that if y'all follow bodybuilding. The great bodybuilder, Mike Mincer. He had a brother, too, that used to bodybuild. And he had this, he had this program to where he used to do this heavy-duty training like once a week. Now, I remember when I was younger and I first was working out, it was a dude at the gym, and he was always bragging about this one guy that he knew, the biggest guy that he ever seen, and he only worked out once a week. And he did a full body exercise once a week, a power, a power lifting type of exercise program, just once the once a week and the rest of the week, he had just like walk or you know what I'm saying, probably even do a couple of push-ups, but nothing, nothing, no, no type of workout like that. And I seen the guy and he had a nice, nice physique. And he used to only come to the gym like twice a week. One he'll work out his upper, and then the next day he'll work out his lower, and then he won't come to the gym anymore. And I talked to him, and he was doing what Mike Mincer said. So true, it will work. You will get a nice muscle base. You will get nice muscles. If you lift as hard as he said lift, then you're going to need extra rest. You, he's not just talking about going up in and just, you know, getting on a bench press and hitting it eight times and then that's it. Nah, he's talking about going up in there. You're going to need a spotter nine times out of ten because you might just get two reps off your chest, but it's going to be the hardest thing you ever did in your life. So don't think that he just you know, making it easy for you in the gym. If you ever go watch Dorian Yates work out, who was also on this program, you would see that it's 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 intense. He got veins popping out his forehead, his, his neck and all of that stuff. These is going to probably be the hardest two, three reps that a human body can even, can even hold, can even do, man. So you're going to need a lot of rest. And that's where I got a problem with it because it's also proven that if you're on a bro split, if you just do calisthenics every day, mix it up. If you work out four times a week and you off three times a week, if you do the Arnold Schwarzenegger program, it, it all, it all works, man. It all works. But the problem I have with the mic mixer is, is that working out, to me, isn't just about getting big. It's about meditating also. It's about taking time with the reps, the contraction. It's 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 like a it's like a lifestyle. It's not a get in there and get out. That's more like if I'm punishing myself, I don't want to be there. When I'm working out, I want to be there as long as I have to be there. I love the 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 last two reps just burning so much that when I when I put it down I'm like ah oh. now a powerlifting program like Mike Mincer you hear what I'm saying it's really good like I said for building muscle you're gonna get that big dense muscle also you hear what I'm saying but I also don't feel that it's good for shaping the muscle. Because the guys that I've seen that was on that program, yeah, they had real big muscles, but they didn't have them, them like tie-ins, them, them striations that I've seen from guys that do reps and reps and reps. The reps and reps and reps and reps and digging into it, man, always looked it better to me. And they was also still strong, and they could do way more things like pull-ups and and probably even the splits, they look like they can do gymnastics. But the people on the Mike Mincer program, they was just more big, good for the eyes and stuff like that. It was more of a stiffer type of look. If you understand how the bodies look, see, I have years, I know how different bodies look. I could look at a person and tell if they on steroids. I can look at a person and tell if they do like more calisthenics than weights or if they do just only weights 
I could tell if they on a clean bulk or a dirty, a dirty bulk. So when I look at these people on this, this Mike Mincer program, they never looked at like they could touch their toes and stuff. You hear what I'm saying? They never looked at like they could do gymnastics or swim real fast. Unlike the people who dug in it, dug in it with the reps and the reps, you see way more, way more definition like that. I feel that if you're on a boking program, then a Mike Mincer is cool. But if you're getting ready for the summer, getting ready for photos, getting ready for a competition, then I don't think I don't think that that's that's the way to go and just base your whole program on the Mike Mincer program. It's good to it's good to throw it up in there. Some power lifting up in there here and there. It's good for the stress with me. It's good to shock the nervous system. It's good all over, but the base show whole program on the Mike Mincer, I give him about 20% of a workout program as far as lifting weights and calisthenics, all that type of stuff. I give his program 20% inside of this program. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back at you with another video. Peace.